And so th there's the kind of y you're always told include USPs, you know, when you're doing when you're creating marketing things. D do do you think that USPs do as much to pull somebody into something as the emotional grab? The question basically is: Do I want to describe the feature of this item by the features of the item? This is a you know more powerful zero to a hundred kilometers an hour in 3.7 seconds or something, uh, or do I want to make it about you, about how you would feel in this car and what it does to you? Yeah. Here's a story that I just heard. I have a friend who, um, he, he signed to start a company and he has a product idea and he, he actually went and visited I recommend that he visit a friend of mine who's a real expert in this. And, uh, so here's how it goes. Um, so my friend comes in to talk to his advisor. And the advisor listens for a while, and then the advisor says, well, let me tell you about products. He says, and my friend had his cell phone out, his smartphone out, and put it on the table. It's fairly common around Silicon Valley that you're never without your phone. You go to a court meeting, it doesn't matter, you put it out in the table in front of you. And so he reached over and took the phone away and put it in his own pocket. And then he said, how do you feel now? And oh, I'm really uncomfortable. You, you have my phone. I mean, I can't live without it. And, and besides, I don't want you looking inside of it. Um, I mean, I don't know how to function without it. What is it about a product that makes you feel that when you don't have a video? Yeah, it's that's what you really want to capture. Yeah. If you have a product where if they don't have it, if, if it somehow gets taken away, they fool. Oh, they're just I'm so uncomfortable. I can't live. How do you manage that? And do you, do you think with something like a phone, it's easy because that's your link to everybody, to your loved ones? Is, is it easier what to do with that than some shoes? Back in the old days of cell phones, when they were just basically a phone, and that's all it could do was it could make phone calls. If somebody took it away, you might be annoyed, but it wouldn't have been the same thing. But the today's phones are an image of yourself. It's you, it's part of you. It's the way you feel. First of all, you, the brand you chose and it's, it's important, and then you personalize it. You've added all sorts of applications and you have all sorts of private information and it's my communication line. In fact, it's interesting because modern telephones are hardly ever used to talk. Yeah. Um, and same with an automobile. I really love my automobile. It's been with me for, well, it's a 1996, so it's been a long time. But it's just my car. We've been through a lot together, and um, that little scrape on the side, oh yeah, I can tell you the story of that. And, uh, I just love the way it drives, and yeah, I would love to have a newer car because there's some more newer features, but I just like this car, and they become very personal things. So I think uh, for many, if I'm selling toothpaste, that's not going to be personalized, but there I may want to advertise the attributes of the toothpaste. Um, although some toothpaste manufacturers try to make you think that you will be, it makes your smile more meaningful or something. But, so I think different kinds of products require different kinds of advertisements. But the, the most important products are the ones that mean something to us. The standard uh, thing that we talk about, the emotional appeal of products, if your house is burning down and you have to get out, you have like a second to get out, and you could grab, you can grab one thing to take with you, what will you grab? And it quite often turns out people don't respond that it's um, this valuable painting which I bought, or uh, this really beautiful item, or this or that. What they often may take is a, an old, ripped, faded photograph. Yeah. Or even a, a chipped uh, a teacup. But that's been handed down to the family for generations. And the photograph is some cherished thing that I can't reproduce. I, I don't have 
have a negative. I don't have an original. I don't have a digital copy. Um, so it's what has an, an emotional impact to you. How do we? How do you actually create that in a new product? It's through stories. It's not a list of features. No. But you create a story. And actually, you've noticed the most effective advertisements on television are just that, the story. That's what television is good at, actually. You show a family enjoying the car, and you show a family enjoying a meal, and you show somebody going out doing something. The, the way to make emotional connection is through stories, and the most powerful emotional connection is something that is a deep-seated meaning to the person. 